Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm in my seemingly uh, regular position these days of so kneeling on the floor with a massive haul of stuff behind me. Uh, oh, camera's dropping. Um, yes, but this is uh, one, well, I'm hopefully going to do two videos. This is part one. Um, this is from Saturday. So I went out, went round loads of charity shops. I don't know how much, how many I went through. I went round. Um, it, it felt like 30 odd. I, I went around, but it, it was so many. I was out for most of the day trying to pick up stuff. And then on Sunday, I did a, a jumble trail as well. well. About half of a jumble trail and picked up loads more stuff. Um, so I thought I'd do this one first, go through what I've got, what I've paid for it. Um, and then, and then I'll do another video to show you the other lot. So, you're not hanging around too long, hopefully. Uh, okay, right, I will turn you around now. Okay, so here's the haul. It's um, it's a real mishmash of of bits. I just kind of thought I would just grab stuff while I was out and like, I sort of checked a few things while I was out, but a lot of it I don't really know um, what it's worth. This one I'm quite intrigued about, all of them. Come to that one in a minute and go through it. Um, this, these actually, I got. I start with these because I got these on Friday. Um, went to a charity shop, um, and they had uh, all of this stuff. Um, most of it, these. Um, that they, they had like a random mixed bag of stuff, um, which I think was all of this lot. It was all in a bag, and that was. Um, one ninety nine for the whole bag, and then these ones were, I think it was like four for a pound or something. I've no idea what they are. Um, I don't know if you recognise them. They are. What does it say? Uh, Nineteen ninety seven. M I G. Um, and there's one, two, three, four of those type of things. They look vaguely familiar. Um, but I don't know what they are. So I'll have a look. Look them up. I thought since there's four of them, might be just bundle them all up and see what they're worth. I uh, also picked up a little Zazu, which was good. This guy from Monsters University. And this was a Star Wars figure, but I don't know if it's genuine. It doesn't look like... I've had one in the past and it doesn't look the same. I couldn't find any mark on it, but um, I'll have a better look up at some point. But it was only like... 25p or something silly um, and then the ones that are in the bag um these ones i don't know they're much much worth in um spider-man would probably be worth a few quid so that get my money back easily and then this one and that will probably ship as a large letter as well which is always handy that um i've actually got one of these listed um already exactly the same um which i thought was random when i got it but there's another one now um, another one, and then there, there was this, which is Transformer. Um, not sure, is it Lock, not Lockjaw? I can't remember now. If you know what his name is, um, let me know. Save me looking it up. Um, can't remember now. I don't know if that one's worth worth anything. And there's a couple of random rubbishy bits. Uh, that is from Scooby Doo. That's I think that's a Ben 10 type thing, I think. Um, and then there's this transformer thing that I've no idea if it's worth much either. So that's requires some more investigation. Uh, right, move on. Uh, I've got some books. So I went to a charity shop and they had the. There's one local to me. And they do like eight um, items for a pound. Sorry, eight books or DVDs or CDs for a pound. So I've got these three uh, as part of that. Um, and I also picked up these so a couple of in the night gardens holidays home alone the snowman I love actually i'm saving them for christmas oh and the snowman there two versions of the snowman um i've been going into this shop fairly regularly and just keep sort of throwing in christmas dvds as of when i find them and i'm gonna just bundle them up come christmas and see how they how they do um a couple of little britons that's um season one and season two they can go together as, as a you know, large thing, um, but I don't know if 
which made a sale. <laughs> I don't know, I, I saw something that, that, that Little Britain's coming in a bit more popular again because it's kind of been banned a little bit, but um, I don't know, but I grabbed them anyway for 12 and a half each or something. Um, and John Bishop, I picked up that's sealed, but annoying it because of the size of it. It's, it's double disc, but it will go as large letter. So I'll see, I might open it. Um, these I picked up in a charity, sh in a charity shop. So annoyingly, that, that was only a pound. Now I can go as part of a bundle for Modern Warfare 2. Jane Austen collection. I thought it was quite good. I looked up and they're going for £15 sealed, but I didn't realise at the time. God knows what's happening inside. It looks like it, it's completely brand new and sealed, but the whole middle is just all, all over the place. So, um, no idea. And then I got a sealed Downton season one and two as well, which was only three quid. Um, and I've seen them go for a bit more, so I just picked it up. Um, what is next? Um, I got these. I don't know if they're genuine Scrabble ones. I don't look it. Um, it was at 75p, so I, thought I can either. Um, if they are genuine ones, I, I, I'll check with the other boxes I've got and maybe top them up or I can just probably sell them as they are and they'll probably sell um, crafting and things like that for 75p. Um, I picked up a couple of Harry Potters and they're pretty much brand new, I'm not far off. Um, Half Blood Prince and Order of the Phoenix for a pound each. Um, I can't remember if I've, I've picked up a couple of these previously but I can't remember which ones I've got in there so I need to dig them out. I'm I probably I don't think I'm far off having a whole set of, of that type uh, which would be handy. Um these were quite cool. I've never picked up these before. They're postcards. Um so the Corbin Harbin. So I presume that's Copenhagen. Um just Postcards. Um, I haven't looked into them at all, but they're really old, cool pictures. Um, there's a guy I follow on Instagram on um, uh, YouTube that sells old pictures all the time and just like lists them really high and just takes whatever offers you can get. So um, I might just do that because it takes up hardly any space, and they're quite cool. Um, 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 just all you know, really old black and white things. Uh, is that even, yeah, that's a postcard. And then there's this. I have no idea what this is. Boxing night. And um, it was just like a, a stuck on a bit of card. Right. Um, don't know. I've looked, but it was. I think it was five pound for the lot. So I um, I figured I'd give it a go, and it's a good way to educate yourself once you've got something. So that's them. Um, picked that up. That was fifty p. Just a wrestler. I'm not really sure what his, what his name is, but I'm sure we're fine. I'm not sure if this is an old school one. I think it is. Um, but I don't know if it's got any worth. But that was like twenty five p. Um. This it was in in a case in a charity shop. It, it was in an Oakley bag, oh, which um, Oakley genuine software. So I was like, that's weird. I was like, I'm sure it says Sony on it, but um, yeah, because it was like outside the bag. But yes, it said so. It's Sony VCL ES06, um, made in Japan. Um, but it was a fiver, and I had no idea. It was, I, I walked out and left it, and then I was like, actually, I'm just going to go back and and get it. Um, I've had a quick look on eBay just now. Um, I can't see any that have sold. There's a few that are listed, um, and they're not listed for great money, but I was kind of hoping that was going to be about worth hundreds. <laughs> um, I have no idea when it comes to the lenses. Um, I haven't got a Scooby, to be honest, so... Um, yeah, I thought I'll give it give it a go, and worst case scenario, I I lose a fiver, but I'm sure I get my money back on that anyway. Uh, right, which 
shift over. So I've got some trainers, uh, picked up some ASICs, um, I think they're a size 11, uh, 12, yeah, US 12, so that's oh, all right, US 12, that's a 11, I think, isn't it? Um, yeah, they were 550, um, but yeah, I didn't even, I didn't look them up, but ASICs, usually I think are quite, quite good, I'm a bit crazy on trainers, but um, I've got, I guess you're all of them while I'm here, I've got these ones, which I'm, I had a quick look since, and I can't see any quite like it, they're like the, um, they're, they're leather, but it's okay, shiny leather, uh, vans, um, they're a little bit dirty, but not too, too bad, um, I'm not sure what colour they are. What colour would you say they are? Um, I'm not sure if it's cream or like pink or rose or I don't know. Um, but they were a fiver, so I figured they're probably worth more than that. Um, I got these ones, which are um, another pair of Asics, and they were three pound. Um, again, need a little bit of a wash. I just whack them in the washing machine, um, but not. Terrible grip, um, not terrible colours either. Um, not sure what size they were now. Uh, nine uh, US nine and a half apparently. So um, they look quite big. Um, three quid worth of punt. Um, and I've got these ones. Oh god, that's making a mess. Ah, ah. <laughs> um, these uh, are Adidas. Terex, um, but they they got Gore-Tex on there, so I thought maybe they'd be oh good. I, I haven't looked them up since, but the um, thing that put me off is that the backs. There's a, I think there's, I'm not sure if that's a plaster or what that is, um, but on this one it's a bit damaged on the back, um, but they're only a pound, and they are. Uh, I saw UK size 10, um, yeah I'll have a better look and try and get an idea but they just need a bit of a clean up, but for a pound you can't really go wrong, and continental um, soles as well, so that kind of, I thought that sounds quite impressive, but they're just, just plain old black trainers, <laughs> Find another place. Uh, right I'm going to these before I smash them, um, so I picked up two of these, um, Christmas is coming, uh, and they are just Wittards of Chelsea. Um, I couldn't see any similar. There was like a jug or a kettle or something that had sold similar branding, um, but I thought since there's two of them, it was two for a pound. So that sounds alright. Uh, Wonder Woman mug it was a pound. Um, right. <coughs> I'll show you this. I don't know if this is any good either. It says three, but it's actually it was actually a pound, but it's brand new, sealed. Um, I couldn't see any sold again, but for a pound, not bad. Oh, I'll show you these. I haven't, I haven't looked. I've literally haven't looked anything up. I've just got it. I left it all in bags until now. I've got it all out. So this is my first time looking back through it. Uh, Smokey Robinson being with you. Classic sound of Motown. 50p, I just, it was said Motown and I thought, give it a go. Um, and this Thunderbirds, I'll go. Um, I think it's a single. Um, yeah, but it's got like different mixes of the Thunderbirds song. Um, again, 50p. So I'll have a look, see if it's worth anything. Uh, this I thought was quite intriguing. Rally Championships. Um, I just remember the game. Sega Rally Championships. If you, if you know the game, you uh, remember the arcade game it always used to play. Um, but yes, Co Rally Australia. Um, make cars green, blah blah blah. Uh, size medium, like polo shirt. It was a 
bit thingy, but it was only a pound. And I thought, since it's rally branded, I think it sounds quite good. Um, picked up a couple of Christmas jumpers while I was in the Christmas spirit. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a good make or can I play? Um, there's a penguin one. A penguin um, and a reindeer, but the reindeer, I'm not sure if it's the way it's supposed to be or if it's just what it is. I can see a line along there, um, but I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be or not. But again, I haven't looked these up. Both size medium, most donated by the same person, I imagine, um, and they were 250 each. Um, so yeah, I've been meaning to get some Christmas jumpers. It's like, that would be good. This, I had no idea on, and I just kind of grabbed it because I don't know really. Um, it's a Jesse J tour t shirt. Um, uh, um, so, Summer Tour 2012. Uh, it was 350. Um, yeah. I've had a, I had a quick look while I was waiting for something else because it's the only thing I could really remember. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's really worth much, but we'll see. Um, this, uh, oh, this was reduced to two pound, but it's Guinness polo shirt. But, um, but it was it's Arthur Guinness, so it's not like your traditional. Um, Kind of shirt with a traditional Guinness symbol. It's official merchandise of Guinness. It's size small, which is a bit disappointing, but for two quid, I'm not. I had a quick look and couldn't see anything like it on eBay. Um, so I thought, give it a go. Staying on the beer theme, um, I got a Brewdog T-shirt, Punk IPA, um, size large. Uh, and that was two ninety nine. Um, I yeah, I know I, quite a few people that um, I I personally quite like Brewdog, but um, I know people do. So if they kept, collect the merchandise or have must have a t shirt of it, so for three quid might be worth some money. Um, and this again, no idea. Um, I don't. I've never heard of the band, so let me know if you have or if you know anything about them skillet world tour 2016 um so it's not a tour t-shirt it was only three pound uh, and it just sort of shows everywhere they they went uh even if they came to to england it looks like oh yeah went to came to london at the, the last the 12th and 9th 2016 or 9th of the 12th yeah 9th of the 12th <laughs> american um yeah, so that might be something that, you know, there's bound to be Skillet fans out there, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> this, I, I paid up a little bit for it, six quid. Um, but I just thought it was cool, and uh, I remember seeing on a couple of other channels, people um, have got one. Actually, Nick and Andrew have picked one up um, the day after I got, got this one, I think. So, um, that, six quid. Pretty good condition. I think it should go for about 15 or so, but it's Price Kensington. I don't know if that's a good make. Again, I haven't really looked up the make. I just, I looked up egg holder, chicken egg holder. Um, but yes, from, remember Bread, TV show Bread. <laughs> uh, okay, then Scrabble 250. It says it's complete. It's all sell take down, so I haven't checked it yet, but that will go in my other board game pile. Um, for Christmas um, and upwards as well. I have no idea. This is all stuck down, so I don't know if that's complete. But that was two fifty. And was one of my first purchases of the day, so I thought um, got to get in there sometimes. Just buy something, get yourself going. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that's that's all there. Um, and some more books. Um, this well, actually that one was in the um, with the other lot, so that was. Eight for a pound, um, but these ones for fifty p each. Um, I didn't actually realise they were the same because I saw, I bought them at different times. But 
I'm very close to probably having a full set of um, the Game of Thrones books as well. So that's the plan is to get a set of them and for 50p each. It's not too bad. Um, so in Philip Pullman, Northern Knights, I've got the subtle knife, I think it is. Um, but I'm missing the amber sky, spyglass or vice versa. I think I've got, yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, hopefully just get some sets of books and they sell much better. And also I picked up this. Um, it was only a pound, no idea. I kind of bought it on a whim. Um, it's just a head squash racket. Um, titanium technology. Don't know if it's any good. Get that bloody thing out. Um, the handle is pretty buggered, but you're supposed to replace the handles anyway. Um, I guess that's the TI-160, the make. Um, yeah, I'll have a look. It doesn't feel great quality, but we'll see. The squash racket for a pound, and then there's a few squash balls in there, which are probably useless, but I might just include them. Um, yes. Oh, it says in the front, TI-60. Um, there we go. And that it was the haul. It seemed... Hang on, let me just flip you around again. Uh, yeah, it's, it seemed again a lot more when I when I had it, but um, there's still tons there to keep me keep me going. Um, and then yes, so I, I picked up a load more stuff uh, on the uh, Sunday at a, a jumble trail, which wasn't too far away from me. First one I've ever been to, and it was it's quite fun, but just difficult trying to. I had a picture of the map on my phone and I was trying to zoom in on the phone um, and it would just get going blurry as soon as I did that so um, but yeah but managed to pick up a few good pickups which I'm really pleased about um, hopefully some quick flips in there as well but I'll show you that in the next video um, but yes I'll leave it there for now um, thank you for watching um, please hit like subscribe if you're not a subscriber um, I'll try and do some more so um, this kind of all videos and stuff, I just do, do a mixture of everything. But um, yes, thanks for watching. I was looking at the wrong bit. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you then. Bye bye.